Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. It's fine. How we doing? How are you? Good. Good. I don't. Know. I don't. You know, it's, this is a different game because we, you know, we played on the road in Ireland, but that was like a neutral site. So this is on a little bit of hostile territory. You know, I thought our guys were good. We had a little noise today and changed up some things. So I thought they were focused. So you know, it's just just takes time. As I said, I haven't been here. I haven't been with these guys, so we'll see how they react. And that's why we started it today, and we'll get tomorrow and Thursday before we head to. Uh, Rutgers. Hey Mark, how have you seen Trey Palmer sort of evolve as a receiver since he got here? Uh, just in, in the plays he's been able to make for you guys. No, he's a great kid. We're, you know, fun to be around. You know, uh, not and, and unselfish. You know, maybe too much so. You know, so kind of like struck me the first scrimmage. He didn't catch a pass, but and I said, hey man, I got to get to the ball more because I don't I don't care, but I just want to win. So, so that's a really good attitude, you know. And then we've missed him on some throws. You know, he's been open, and then uh, he just keeps working and just takes some time in the throw game. And you know, even even that part, he's probably got. I don't know for sure, but he's probably got. I know he's got at least five. He had two PIs against him, or you know, he's, which to me is is is. You know, he'd rather have a touchdown, but. You count those are all first down catches and everything else, so those don't go into stats that that much. But that's an important um, statistic to me, and so it's not just his catches and numbers, but uh, you know he's he's making a lot of first downs, so and, uh, and well liked by his teammates. Hey Mark, can you, um, can you describe the nature of your relationship and your communication with Casey during the game, and with him being an older guy, are you able to approach some of the stuff like the way that you coach him differently than? You players on the game day yeah I mean when I was asking what he was gonna have for dinner <laughs> reservations for dinner no I I just uh, for this offense it frustrated me and and because uh, it's been I think four games we've taken the ball and scored the first drive and then they just act like well yeah okay you know I'm like we, we don't nothing against their defense we don't we're not have this 86 Bears Defense, okay. Your job is to score touchdowns, and it's just like you just you know you go three plays or whatever. We go 70 yards, and then you just start making mistakes. So, and um, um, my my frustration a little bit was taken out on Casey, but he knows that I love him, you know, and, and that that part. And I think it's you can't do that with everybody, but he handles it really well, and he responded, you know, he, he responded, and uh, the t the team responded in the second half, but. That's my, my expectations just seem at times to be higher than, than, than our guys that are playing, and that's frustrating to me. And and because uh, hey, and I and I told them that on Monday, you know, or Sunday we have a Sunday. I know this was a short week, but like I was not happy with the way we played. Um, you know, I was happy with the way we finished, and then and I told them on Monday, look, all right, hey guys, this is this is reality. We're in first place, okay. First place, first place. So that's where you're at. So let's go forward from here. And that's what it is. Whether you're, you know, we have a chance. And that's all I can ask for in this world. That one sack in particular before you put Jubba in seemed to really, you know, get you fired up with Casey. But what, I mean, I know you take, it, you take any unneeded sack, it's going you know, to upset the coach. But what, what did you see there? Well, it's, I, probably like Spurrier said to Danny Werfel, he says, hey, I'm not, I'm not mad at you, Danny. It's my problem because I put you in the game. So that basically is the same thing there. It's like you can't miss that, that, that chance for a touchdown with Craze running wide open in that situation. And uh, so, you know, he, you know, as I said, he, he bounced back. And, and I got to coach him better. My frustration, that part, I, I got to coach better. That's, uh, you know, it's, I'm pointing the finger at, at myself. And, and uh, you know, so. Um, you know, because we said the season's, you know, we're almost halfway there. And like I said, we got a chance. 
and we've wa wasted so many opportunities. And that as a as a older person, it's like this is you know this thing goes by fast, and you, you got to make sure you're you're on your p's and q's. And that was the frustrating part. As I said I don't understand how the first game when we didn't have that many practices, we don't have a penalty, and then we have probably six in the in the second quarter. You know, it just doesn't make, make any sense to me. I've never seen anybody in my history, and I told Cork, have two 15-yarders and two back-to-back -back plays. I mean, we talk about these things all the time, so, you know, um, you know that's, that's the, the, the frustrating, frustrating part, and, and Cork's one of our better players, so uh, Casey's one of our better players, and, you know, so, I don't know, I guess, I, and I, in my history, you know, when I walk around being a nice guy, it just doesn't work as well as when I'm a dick. Okay, I, I, I don't know why, and that's just what I told the kids on Monday. I said, "Look, man, I'm not, I'm down here. Just when I have some across my rear end, guys, we just play better, and that's really what it was like at, at halftime." You say that sometimes it seems like your expectations are higher for them than theirs are. What do you see? I don't. I don't know if they really think we can win every game. I, I don't. I don't. You know. So we're good enough. I think. Okay. I'm not a genius, but we can win. We can win seven games. We can win these games. All right. We already threw away three of them. I mean, Oklahoma kicked our rear, but I said, you know, that that's that's the expectation. Is like, hey, not not just to go to a bowl game. Let's we can win the West. That's what it is. So. You're in first place. Act like it and play like it. You know, so that that's but it again takes time, but you know, hey, I'm I'm a realist. If we don't get there, I'm not gonna be here anyways. So I told them that. And we hey, we win the West, you know, I'll, I'll ride Mickey's coattails. But but it comes down to those guys playing and I think they've taken that to heart and we practice well these two days. So that's I said, I, I told them I won't ever BS them. And um, and I like the I like these guys. I said it, and I told them all. I like you. Otherwise, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't play you. So, is there, are, there, are there players, a player or players that you want to see kind of take charge of the offense more and kind of get into the guys so that you don't have to do it? No, I mean that's that's why. I mean, yeah, coach would be easy if I took that. You know, I could be like you guys, just <laughs> write and talk and just stand on the sideline and say, hey, this is great. We got eighty-five thousand. This is a great play. It just, you know, it's. I just felt like I had to go. I could show more passion, and that 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 part, which I always have. You know, those days we weren't covered at New Haven. I used to say it's a bad and UMass, but um, you know, it's it's uh, how important this 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 thing is. That that, that uh, I mean, you only get one chance to play, and that sometimes with all the things that are going on, and at this place, I think they're somewhat privileged and and. Uh, we got to force them to work harder, which I think they have, and do extra things. And so, um, as I said, that, that's just a mindset. I, I just don't ever want to have a have anybody that played for me say like, you know, Coach Whipple cheated me. You know, he didn't he didn't give me his all that way. That that's that's the most important thing. They may not like me, everything else, but they know when they come in there that that. They're going to have a good classroom. They're going to learn, and they're going to get better, and that way, and they're going to be a better person, and that—that's the most important factor. And I probably was looking in the mirror before that game, with that off week, just saying, "Well, what, how can I be better? How can I help these guys get over the top?" And somehow they—they they made the play in the fourth quarter, and um, you know, it just worked. We, we we missed that play about three times earlier in, in the year, and and then finished the game, and. But, but uh, that just hasn't happened. So it's going to be the same thing this way. It's going to be four quarters and find a way. What does it say about the list that y'all and I mean, six other, five other teams are in position to win the division at this stage of the game? It's competitive. I don't know if it's quality, but it's competitive. <laughs> it doesn't matter, right? Numbers are numbers. You can play them any way you want. It's like, hey, the schedule ahead of us is we're in, we're in great shape. We're in, we're in we're in, we're in great shape. That that was the goal. What I said to them when I got here is to to win to win the West and get to Indianapolis, and that's 
after half the season or five games, we're, you know, Northwestern has to lose, obviously, but, you know, I just pointed that out to them. You know, it's not a pat on the back, you know, you know, um, but if they keep growing and getting better and work hard, which they did the last two days on a short week, you know, um, we'll see what it is. And this is a big test going on a road, on, on the, uh, a different, as I said, a different test. And to me, it's we can build as a team when you go on a road and, and play in a place probably like Rutgers will be hostile and all those guys will be there, you know. Mark, who do you, you look at from, from that game up front on the line and you feel like he's playing, he's playing well, he's doing what you're looking to do? I, I think Trent's been really consistent all the way through. He's handled a, a, a huge load on making the calls and redirecting some of the, the protections and been there every single day. You know, and all of them have been good, but he would be the one guy that, that just, you know, and knows when he makes a mistake, and he's gotten so much better that way. And there's a lot going on. It'll be a lot on his plate also because the crowd noise and those things and some things with the, with the uh, cadence. But, uh, I, you know, and then, hey, the good thing was probably, the bad thing was Cork made some mistakes, but then I thought Banksy went in the game and had 44 snaps and, didn't look like we missed anything, so maybe we built we built a little bit of depth there, and we got a little more confidence with him. Mark, how, go ahead. How, how have you seen the guys respond the last couple of days here? Sort of frustrations about things that haven't quite been as good as they could be. Oh, I mean that that was. I mean they've seen that all the time. Just because it wasn't on game day doesn't mean it hadn't happened. It wasn't like the first time like, I was a flower child and all of a sudden lost it. So it's, it's yeah. you know. It's, but the last a, couple of days, what have you seen out of the guys, I guess, just responded? To the yeah, they've been really good. They're fun to be around. It's a, they're coming to work. They're coming to the meetings. And knowing that it's a tight schedule, it's, you know, we got to ask a little bit more of them. You know, it's hard to play on Saturday. But I also say, hey. You know, I've been there before, played on Sunday, you got to play on Thursday in the NFL, shorter and everything else. So we've tightened some things down, but that, that means that those guys got to be a little bit, a lot more disciplined in their time and how they go about things. So, okay, good. Good. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah.